Cloud servers are very convenient, but the one thing about them is most of the time you don't actually have access to the desktop GUI, which is fine if you're trying to run text-based programs, but if you want to run, say, a browser or something like that, it's a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get access to the desktop on a cloud server. And I'm going to use an Amazon server as an example, a Ubuntu server. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure that everything is updated. Okay, once everything is updated, let's go ahead and upgrade everything using sudo apt upgrade. Okay, next step is we're going to make sure that we actually have a desktop to view. So we're going to install Ubuntu Mate. It's going to ask you what display manager you want, so just go ahead and accept the default. Now, in order to actually access this desktop, we need to install uh, an instance of VNC server. So in this case, we're going to use tight VNC server. So we'll install it using sudo uh, apt install tight VNC server. Then once we've got that, we can go ahead and start the server. We're going to start it on, we're going to start instance one essentially. And we're going to set a password. Uh, it's eight characters is the limit. So we want to verify the password, and then it'll give you an option for creating a view-only password. In this case, I'm not going to bother. All right, so now we know we've got this running. So in order to run it, though, we need to make sure that we have a client. So we're going to go ahead and download the viewer. Make sure you get the viewer. It is easy to get the server by accident. So. Uh, Go ahead and download it and then install it. And then we're going to go ahead and add it. Do file and new connection. And what we have here is we have the opportunity to add it. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the IP address for the server itself. And remember, we put it on instance one. So we're going to put in the IP address colon one. You know, we're going to give it a name. The thing is that it's not actually running on port one. By default, it actually runs on port 5901. So in order for us to make this accessible, we need to make sure that that port is accessible. So whatever cloud provider you're using, you need to use their security options to do that. For uh, AWS, we're going to go down to security. We're going to uh, click on the security group. And we're going to edit the inbound rules to add a rule. that allows access on port 5901 to, uh, in this case, we'll just make it everyone. But you could make it to just your particular IP address, whatever. So we're going to save the rule. Now we're going to go back to VNC, back to the client. We'll double click the server. In this case, we're using an insecure connection. I don't care in my case. If it matters to you, make sure that you take extra steps. Uh, we're going to put in our password, and there we have our desktop. We can pull up a browser. We can do whatever we need to do in this case, and you're all set. I hope that was helpful to you. Uh, if so, 
Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next.